i'll i'll just go with uh, uh, from the very basics uh, maybe when you once you open it maybe you have to set these uh, terms uh, uh, very carefully maybe metric or uh, whichever the heads maybe frequency uh, maybe for your project what is the frequency that you have to choose very carefully because that's the uh, first step you have to do it because once you set it maybe later you cannot change it because uh, uh, if you change it eta will not work properly because uh, they, maybe the system will collapse maybe the software may not work uh, completely uh, well uh, maybe may, it may not work perfectly so once you said fix uh, that is the fixed one you cannot change it maybe you have to make sure that 60 hertz or 50 that based on that you can go it once you go inside maybe maybe this will ask certain steps <clears throat> So this is how you will get the, you know, uh, you will open up the, your first uh, window, you will get something like that. Uh, the, on the left hand side, you will, you will be having many uh, like uh, tools. Here you will be having the study, uh, you know, toolbars. And here you will be having the electrical equipments. So that maybe one by one, we will uh, discuss about this, right? These are all the, uh, you know, AC system and the DC system and some protection uh, equipments, all those things are available based on that. And uh, once you open it, immediately maybe you have to save it, the project name already you have saved it. Maybe now you have to go to the uh, standards. Here you have to set these things. Maybe already you might have selected. Maybe once it, this is fixed, the this rod, because you cannot change, uh, once it is done, you cannot change. This is fixed actually, before you make it. After you made certain, uh, some of, uh, once you model your entire SLD or single line diagram here, later if you change this, then you, your uh, study may not give the, uh, you know, error, it may give errors or maybe your, this may not work properly. So that's very important. And uh, some of the uh, options uh, maybe are available, maybe uh, basic uh, steps, uh, something called like it. Maybe in order, when, when you make a single line diagram, no, you have to use this, some of the check circuit continuity, all those options. That's, that will be easy the system when you have a large this thing. So these are all the basic, you have to enable it, okay. So uh, with that, uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, like uh, you have some idea or do I have to, uh, you know, uh, tell about this toolbars and all? Like, yes, sir. You just wanted... If you will explain, it will be better for all of us. Okay. Great. Great. Okay. Uh, that's great. Maybe I will explain it. So typically, ETAP will have these kind of, uh, you know, tools only once you open it up. Maybe the file and all this, you know, similar way you will get maybe many softwares you might have seen it in the normal software, you know, save project, open project, close project, something out there. Some of the basic options, maybe print this, this maybe you may be using it. Or some of the, uh, you know, options may be available like a copy project to uh, maybe some other uh, file you, you have to copy means you have to use these options, right? Maybe uh, this are all a simple uh, one. Maybe while working it, you, you can easily work it out. But I will explain what are the options are available. Tools, toolbar are available. And the edit, uh, when you do the SLD, you can cut, copy, paste. It's a simple one. Another one is some of the toolbars maybe uh, here, which is available. No, sometimes it may go. Those are all you can enable it here, right? Uh, like a project toolbar, system toolbar, mode toolbar, the study mode, all those things, right? Whatever is there enabled, you, you are able to see it right now, right? Uh, sometimes you may not be having this, maybe by mistake, maybe it might be, it might not be there. So at the time you have to go to this view tab, you have to enable this, right? So that's very important. Another one is the project information. You have to give the project informations like what is the project title, where location, 
what is the contract number or your name or company name all those general informations you can add it the standards which i have already told it's quite very important you cannot change it and uh, uh, maybe there are different frequencies are there uh, around the world maybe for 400 hertz or something like that but mostly we will be using only these two 50 and 60 right this uh, some uh, date formats are there metric system or english system are there this are all uh, very uh, uh, like when you select 50 they have to use metric okay when you select 60 you have to use English. So accordingly, your cable sizes and everything will be changing it, right? So maybe I'll put it back. Okay. Some of the default options, like each and equipment, no? Uh, like when you when you when you take this, no? Some of the default options will be coming in. So we will be dealing with. Uh, we will take one uh, equipment. Some of the important uh, electrical equipment we will open it up and we will I, i'll try to give the informations like how to add the uh, informations and what are the inputs required all those things we will uh, start with okay so that uh, will be clear and before uh, going to start these things no uh, like what are the inputs are required that is very much important that we will talk about Maybe, uh, maybe according to ETAP, once you once you drop any 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 uh, uh, equipment or whatever it is, okay. Even even if you delete this entire stuff, no, you will have it on the trash. It it will be there always. Okay, and now you see that one, two, three. It is there. Maybe if you go back here, maybe if you again add one more, you could see that. I I, I, I I see that it is taking sequentially. That means already <laughs> here uh, there are three transformers are there. Okay. So it is taking sequentially. Right? Like if you want to completely take out, then you, here you have to select it and delete it. That's how you can delete the entire object. So uh, even <laughs> everything will be counted okay so you have to be a bit careful and one more thing according to etap if you copy if you copy it if you paste it or uh, it will come automatically here actually basically you see that so anything anything uh, you cut or copy it will go back here and it will come here that's how it works maybe uh, uh, you can try it from your uh, side maybe uh, this all you don't need to try it basically when you model a different sld's you, you will automatically understand but you should know that how this uh, thing the uh, system dumpster works that's that's one of the thing now <clears throat> here you can find out uh, the overall online components maybe you can open it up like a uh, when when you add many buses, automatically here you, you could see that buses in the buses section you will be you will be adding it will be counting. So you could see the wherever you want to go, you can easily identify. You can go there. The number of buses you add it no right. So automatically here everything will be changing it. So that's how you can identify the components. Okay, a uh, few more options uh, here it is there. So that's one thing. Another one is this is the single line. Diagram. In this tab only, we are going to make the overall uh, single line diagram. Maybe tomorrow we will model few uh, these things so that we can understand. Okay. The in this only you have to keep and you have to draw entire single line diagram, right? Another one is what do you call this star system? Maybe this real. Uh, maybe when you go with the relay coordination stuff, maybe you maybe uh, needed it. Okay. No, uh, but. Uh, now we don't need anything okay uh, this is again uh, related to the uh, co relay coordination stuff okay the this one is particularly this is underground race with that uh, we will be from this only we will be uh, using the cable ampacity studies 
so here we will uh, try to calculate the current ratings uh, like how many cables are based on the duct system all those things we'll be using that okay the second uh, the next one is the ground grid system so with this only we'll be uh, doing the grounding study right now it is not enabled maybe we have to do something so then it will be enabled okay so that's the uh, thing next one is the cable pulling system uh, this is the kind of uh, special study when you have a bigger cables so you have to uh, do some kind of this is where installation is required they, for them it is very much is required generally we don't do it but this is also available in the software right uh, these are all some of the real time systems maybe we are not dealing with uh, our scope is uh, what we have discussed we will limit to that there are many options are there in the uh, software this is a very powerful tool actually we are not dealing with uh, all the studies but only few we are uh, working with that's a basic if you know those uh, basic studies maybe you can uh, you can understand further easily right these are all some of the you know control system uh, you know uh, like a control uh, system like control circuits you can plan for it something like that so special diagram this rental we don't do it generally maybe this is when you have a large networks maybe maybe when you are working with real time as inputs data maybe you will be using it right and uh, this is a dumpster i have already told this is some uh, maybe this is in advanced level maybe you will be using it for some of the uh, this things okay here uh, maybe uh, when you create different scenarios maybe by using this you can run the different scenarios in one shot like maybe uh, you have one single line diagram maybe for that uh, like uh, different cases you are creating it maybe you want to run the uh, all the cases in a single shot maybe by that time you can use those scenario wizard and study wizard and this is a in a, entire project you can run it this is a project wizard okay maybe this is fine maybe only few will be using it mostly will be using it this maybe here in this tool you will be having the different studies like load flow once you make the sld you have to run this then you will be getting a load flow actually once you uh, similarly this is r circuit this is r plus this is motor acceleration okay The the next one is harmonic. The other one is uh, transient stability. This is all the study toolbar actually. So here you'll be you'll be able. Etap Etap has a variety of uh, studies. We are not dealing with all the studies. Only few. That's a basic. That as per the IEEE three ninety nine, we are dealing only few. So that only we are going to deal. This is like DC power flow, uh, DC R circuit, DC R plus. These are all the advanced studies actually we are going with. But uh, now this is unbalanced load flow. This is again time domain load flow. These are all you could see it, but this is like our advanced version. Okay. Some of the uh, studies which are again uh, quite lot of studies are there. You can do it. Apart from that, you can do the equipment sizing also, like transformer sizing, cable sizing. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, maybe when you keep it on the study mode you cannot do the edit mode or you can when you want to edit anything you have to always go back to the edit mode right so then only you can do that so then you can delete it now uh, apart from these studies maybe you can uh, do the transformer sizing you can do the transformer sizing you can do it and cable sizing you can do it so there are variety of options are available these are all very much uh, helpful for you uh, during the electrical so tomorrow we will talk about uh, maybe uh, we will discuss about a system uh, some of the system planning then uh, we will try to what are the different systems are available maybe we type of systems everything and we will use the etap and how to model all those things we will uh, talk about okay uh, maybe if you guys have any doubt now you can ask me maybe this is too fundamental okay 
please try to look out what are the options and everything maybe tomorrow onwards we will go straight away into